After sitting vacant for more than a decade, the former Palace Theater in New Haven has a new name and a brand new look. It's now called the College Street Music Hall, and it promises to attract big crowds and musical stars to the Elm City. News 8's Brian Spiros gives us an inside look at the brand new venue. It may not look like it, but tonight a performance will be taking place on stage at the new College Street Music Hall. It's really going to be the kind of experience that people would get in any of the state-of-the-art music halls around the country. This used to be the site of the old Palace Theater. It's been vacant and boarded up for the last 12 years. I think in most cities over the past 10 years with the recession, the arts took the biggest hit. So people shrug their shoulders and say, oh my goodness, what happened? But that's not to accept that what was can't be changed again. But in January, work began to renovate and rebrand. They painted every surface, they put in new seats, they put in a state of the art a sound system, they put in all new lighting. I mean, so if you're going to go there, it's going to be a total concert experience. And today, it's officially reopening. The New Haven Performing Arts Center will now run the music hall. I think they're going to experience that wow factor that something old could be modernized and updated. Tonight's performance will feature a Pink Floyd tribute band accompanied by the Hartford Symphony Orchestra. The whole world now says they want experiences and cities have to be about experiences. You probably noticed that the front is still boarded up. However, all of this will be taken down just in time for tonight's show. Reporting from New Haven, Brian Spiros, News 8.